These are my top three hard baits for bait finesse fishing specifically. We're gonna get started with my personal favorite for bass fishing. This is the Rapala Ultralight Popper. Nothing fancy about this at all. It is just a downsized version of their full-sized popper. I kind of dressed it up with a nice little uh, feather treble here and upgraded trebles. But this thing is, it's just incredible. So when I first started throwing poppers on my BFS rod, I was fishing a lot of the Mega Bass Baby Pop X because I'm a huge Mega Bass fan. I think they make some of the best hard baits. But what I found is that bait is phenomenal. And the Baby Pop X, I still throw it a lot. It's very versatile. But this bait I found just does something that none of those small poppers can do. And that is it has an enormous like chug and sound, even when you just give it a little pop. This thing just sits super straight in the water. And when you pull it, man, it just gives you a nice bubble and a nice pop that you'd want from a popper. Uh, what I found is a lot of the other small baits, they kind of are quieter. They kind of want to just dance around a little bit and they still get bit because they look great and they're small. But this thing is really special for calling up some larger fish. You can fish it really slow and just give it a big chug and a chug. It's a really small bait, but it pulls fish from a long ways because of the loud rattle inside and just because of the consistent loud chug that it makes when you work it. So this is probably my most, you know, if I can throw this, I'll throw it. It's the most fun to throw because you get really aggressive strikes. You get a lot of strikes because of the size. But again, it's just so much fun. You catch bluegill on this too, if you're into that. It's kind of the perfect size. Uh, the Baby Pop X is a little big for like bluegill, but then some of the other ones are kind of really small to catch a decent sized bass. I just think this thing is just the perfect bait finesse popper. And right behind that, you know, similar, but a little bit different um, approach, this is the Mega Bass Karashi. And I mean, this is no surprise to anybody. This is like a best-selling bait on any tackle website. So I don't really have to explain why. But if someone hasn't heard of this, this is, think of it as like a topwater walking bait mixed with like a shallow jerk bait. So it doesn't have the lip of a jerk bait, but it also doesn't float like a walking bait. So it kind of, it sits very level and it, I wouldn't say it suspends, but it gets, it's a very slow sink. Um, which is very awesome because it's super versatile. So you can work this thing, you can throw it out there and work it really close to under the surface and make it basically a walking bait where it makes like a little V right under the surface. Or you can wait, sink it down a little bit, give it slow twitch, twitch. It'll just kind of walk, walk like this and just slowly. You can really work this thing a whole lot of different ways for different situations, um, aggressive or lethargic fish. But where I really found this thing to shine, and the reason it's on this top three, is it's so special when you go out to a pond or wherever, and you think they should be hitting the top water. And maybe you're getting some boils, but they're missing it, or they're just not eating it, and you think they should. Maybe you see other things. You throw this thing underneath it, and you just work it right under the surface. Sometimes fish just don't want to break the surface for whatever reason. I don't know if they're being overly cautious or they just don't feel confident enough to go up there. But just that little bit down, if the water level's here, just that bait being just below gives them all the confidence to come up and crush that thing. And sometimes I found that if you're fishing this guy and you're getting little bites, you fish this guy right below it. Sometimes that bigger fish that's a little bit more cautious, a little smarter, will come up and take this guy. It's also, whoops. It's also just a larger bait in general. So as you can see, that's the popper right there. And there's just a little bit larger profile. So I just find that it pulls just a little bit better bite when they're not quite aggressive and just crushing this popper. So these two are a, a sweet little one-two punch for me. I kind of use this as my walking bait. And then this is my popper right there. Super interesting. So my last one here, my last one here is kind of out of left field. It's completely different from bass fishing, but we'll talk about that in a second. So this is the duo spearhead ryuki 46 s so this is a trout bait complete different from the popper and the karashi this bait has no sound at all this bait is completely solid lead inside 
And you might be wondering, why is this on your list? This does not seem like something that you'd be fishing with all the time. So I first discovered this bait when I was making some trips up to North Carolina to target um, trout in little streams and small rivers. And I just, I didn't have any trout baits. So I went looking around and I found this guy. And so there's a couple things. It's extremely easy to cast on bait finesse, probably my best casting lure because it's super aerodynamic. There's no air inside. So it casts like a literal rock because it is a rock. And then the other thing I found was this thing is super weedless. It bounces off rocks like a square bill. I was like never getting hung up with it. And it was crushing trout for me. Like you would not believe. So, you know, trout fishing was a new thing to me. I didn't really know what to expect. I'd never tried to trout fish with bait finesse gear. So I was a little bit nervous, really unsure of myself. And this bait was just crushing trout like you wouldn't believe. And then I came back up to North Carolina a little bit later, fishing the same bait, absolutely destroying them, getting huge browns, uh, huge for me, not huge for someone who trout fishes all the time, you know, just getting such consistent bites. And I was like, man, this thing is super special. So I started fishing it in my lakes in Florida and nothing changed. Bass were crushing this thing. And the reason that this is now in my top three is I found that it is not just a trout bait. So when I was fishing them in the trout streams, the way you do it is you, you're, you're letting it hit the bottom and you're either you're yo-yoing it like a lipless, you're banging it off the rocks, or if they're really aggressive, you're burning it and you're dancing your rod tip. And that is making this bait not just crank, but it's cranking and it's dancing and it's bouncing all over the place. And because there's no weight transfer moving around, it's super stable and it never gets blown out. And it is just, it drives the fish crazy. So lo and behold, I do the same thing at my, you know, my bass lakes and ponds, and they have the same response. You throw this thing out, it's super effective for deep water and just open water fishing for BFS gear that's usually hard to cast. This thing, you can get a real full-blown strength cast into open water, into the wind. You let that thing sink down into about 10, 15 feet, and you just start ripping it, working it, ripping it, working it. Man, the fish go crazy for this thing because they don't see a lot of lures this small moving that fast in that much open water. I think it's something that is super underutilized and it has just proven itself over and over again. So I have a ton of confidence in it. So those are my three baits right there, guys. We have the Rapala Ultralight Pop, the Karashi, and then the Ryuki 46S. I recommend if you are just getting into bait finesse fishing, I would buy all these three and just mess around with them. You will not be disappointed. They catch fish no matter what the conditions are. It is unbelievable. It is so much fun. If you guys have a favorite bait finesse bait that I didn't mention here that I need to try, please put it in the comments. Otherwise, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.